iOS 26 is finally here, and here is everything new with this update. But before we get into all that, make sure you hit that subscribe button as most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. That actually helps a lot, so make sure to subscribe for more videos. Now let's get started with the lock screen. Now first of all, right at the top, you will have now the charging time. It shows you how much time you have left to charge your iPhone at 80%. We have this new big clock, which looks amazing, and it looks even better if you have a wallpaper with a depth effect like this. Now, as you can see right here, you can now add all the toggles at the bottom. They will go at the bottom automatically if you're using the big clock, or even if you use a small clock, you can actually manually just drag them down here iOS 26 also brings full screen album arts to your lock screen. And as you can see right here, it will make the clock and the date smaller there and just take up the whole screen with the album art. And while you're customizing your lock screen wallpaper, you will have this new button that will add that spatial effect to the wallpaper, making it look way different, have a really, really cool effect. And again, it can be enabled or disabled from this button. Moving into the home screen, now there is a lot going on here of course we have the all new icons with the clear view it looks actually amazing and we have a basically redesigned icons for every ios app some of them might not look that different but they are all redesigned a bit so it's actually pretty cool now on the home screen menu right here we'll have a few different things so of course the customized section which now has been changed compared to ios 18 right here you can add or remove the tint for the wallpaper paper you can make the icons bigger or smaller right here and then here we'll have the clear section where you can use clear icons with the light effect or dark effect or just make that automatic and then right here if you go to tint you will have a few more options that you had on ios 18 now you will be able to actually tint the icons based on your iphone's color or on the case color that you have on your iphone which is pretty insane now, one of the coolest things on the home screen of iOS 26 is also the ability to add these new widgets from the music app where you can actually have your pinned music. So anything you like, you can have it pinned on a widget on the home screen. Now, of course, we also have a brand new keyboard with iOS 26 that looks simply amazing. Now, there are a lot of changes to the screenshots as well. So when you take a screenshot, you can see we have a totally new interface right here, new ways to crop, different a new feature so right there we can save it or we can delete it with the x button of course we have the ability to, to highlight anything here if we want to do a google search but what's really cool are some of the tools here so the loop actually is back with ios 26 now this was a feature before on ios but it had been removed so if you want to add a loop to your screenshot now you can do that with ios 26. now the control center is pretty much the same on ios 26 of course the shapes are a bit different they're more rounded it has the glass effect of course which looks pretty cool but nothing a lot has changed here on the control center so it's pretty much the functionality part is the same as ios 18 we have just the redesign of course of all the different toggles Moving into apps here, Messages is one of the apps that has been updated the most. As you can see right here, we have now backgrounds for conversations. You can now actually add here polls. So if you go here, you will find polls that you can actually add to a conversation, maybe with a group of friends or something like that. And this right here, this is simply amazing. You can now have live translations right here within the Messages app, which is actually super useful. Also a feature that has been requested a lot, typing indicators for group chats that has been added to iOS 26 on the Messages app, which is really, really awesome. Now you can also send photo previews if you don't have a good connectivity. There will be like smaller files of your photos that can be sent without requesting to actually send the full size, which is again, another great feature. Another app that has been updated with a ton of new features and a redesign is the Photos app. It's as you can see is totally different from iOS 18. Now right here we'll have your library, you just go there, everything is there in one place, and then you will have right here your collections, we can have your media types, as you can see your utilities right here, and you can also change between different views right here, which is pretty cool. Now what I really like here is the pinned section where you can have 
anything that you want pinned at the top or anywhere you want on the photos app so you can have easier access to that of course you can go ahead and rearrange these any way you like now as you can notice right here we have a search button right here at the bottom now most of the apps will now on ios 26 have the search bar button right here or the search bar whatever they have but it's at the bottom right here making it really easy for you to have access to the search section the camera app is also new with iOS 26. Of course, we have this new way here to switch between different modes. It looks really cool. And we have this new menu where you will have all the different tools that you can actually use now with the camera app. Now, what I really like about the camera app on iOS 26 is the lens cleaning hints. So it will basically give you a hint right here. It shows a pop-up if your lens is not cleaned, asking you to clean your lens before taking a picture. Moving on into the clock app right here, finally we can change the snooze time for the alarms. So you add an alarm, you will have the ability to choose from 1 minute up to 15 minutes to now have a different snooze time. On the reminders app, we have a few new features. First of all, the ability to actually add a quick reminder from the control center lock screen or the action button, whichever you want to use. What's really cool is that you can also add reminders for your phone calls or voicemails directly from the phone app. Now, it also has the auto categorization feature, which is really awesome. New, of course, added to iOS 26. And right here, you can create your new list. You will have the search button right there. And of course, all the menus will be right here. And of course, the redesign makes it look much, much better than it was on iOS 18. The podcast app also has some great new features. You can now finally set custom playback speeds and settings for each of the shows individually. And right here you can change between different speeds and also enable enhanced dialogue. Now the phone app also has a lot of new features and a new design. You can actually pick now between a new unified design which looks something like this or the old style which was of course back on iOS 18 but still with the liquid glass effect. It has some really awesome new features like the hold assist which will assist you while you're put on hold. Also call screening, you probably have seen this on the Apple event. It's actually a super useful feature. And now you will also have contact history so when you go to one of your contacts on the phone app you can actually view the call history specifically for that contact moving on to safari we have now a new compact view for safari which is actually pretty awesome you will have everything you need right here at the bottom mm -hmm. tapping the three dots you will quickly go to your bookmarks and you can even add a bookmark directly from here now what's really cool is that if you tap the share button and you want to add this to your home screen now you will be able to actually add this to your home screen as a web app which is super cool you add it right there and you enable the web app feature right here moving on into the settings app of course there's a lot new here with the settings app but let's just go through like some of the most interesting new features first of all we have a brand new design again the search bar is at the bottom right here making it very easy to search anything you want without having to reach at the top now we have these new toggles that actually look amazing with ios 26 right here you can see pretty cool and we have a lot of new features here like a new section for screen capture right here where you can enable or disable stuff for your screenshots like the full previews you will be able to have right here carplay screenshots and choose the format of your screenshots now of course the adaptive power feature is also some one of the most useful features that apple has added to iOS 26 you can enable it right here and even even have like notifications for when it is actually active and working in the background so this is basically everything new with iOS 26. There's a lot more of course, but these are some of the main features. We also have different things like for music. We have the new Automix feature, which is really awesome. Automatically translating lyrics, translation for other apps, not just iMessage, also the phone app and other apps like FaceTime, which is really awesome. And of course, the liquid glass design, which is everywhere and it looks abso absolutely stunning stunning so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one